work. And finally, Airbus is looking to get into high-speed air travel. The jet maker getting a patent approved for a plane that could go from New York to London in just an hour. According to the filing, the jet could fly at speeds upwards of 3,000 miles per hour. That's a lot faster than, remember, the Concorde back in the day? Sandra, that took more than three hours to cross the pond. Now they're saying London to New York, one hour. Pretty amazing stuff. All right, so I've got, I'm sitting here, Cheryl, with a bunch of business travelers. All right, would you do it? Would you get on this? 100%, but they're getting my <laughs> hopes up because this is just a patent, so we're not seeing it actually any timelines when it could be deployed and when they're looking oh, to Oh, come do on, it. don't take the fun out of it, Anastasia. You're going to London like, I'm tonight. going there tonight, so I would love for it to be available tonight, but something tells me it's not going to be. But absolutely, seven hours is what I'm going to end up spending on the flight today. One hour, definitely take it. I mean, this puts the Concorde oh, yeah, to shame. Right. Um, Lincoln, you're on an pl airplane all the time. I'm sure you would jump. <laughs> On board. I mean, look, it's, sometimes it takes longer than an hour to get across town here in Manhattan, <laughs> so I think getting That's across true. the pond would be fantastic. And I'm going to Ireland in the middle of August, so that would you know, drop me off at about the 45-minute mark. So oh I think it sounds gosh, fantastic. Oh, my gosh, very nice. Yeah. Golf clubs and all. There there you go. Go. Would you be willing to fly at speeds yeah. of, of Mach 4.5? This is four and a half times the speed of sound. I think, you know, maybe I wouldn't be on that maiden voyage, but I think I'd be interested. New York to London in an hour. I mean, you know, why not? Not, right? So the uh, Airbus also uh, says that this patented craft would be able to complete trips like Paris to France, uh, San Francisco or Tokyo to Los Angeles in just three hours. But I mean, they're not alone, right? We talk about Elon Musk building this hyperloop, which to my eye looks like a very upscale hamster tube that's really just going to shoot people from city to city if he gets his way. I mean, he hasn't put his own money up yet. It's mostly I mean, government funds. That's yet. traveling in style right there. there. I mean, Donald Trump, you might need to upgrade that plane that you're flying around. That. I think a lot of this story is really about productivity, efficiency, and the growth in technology. And you're right, Musk was definitely on the leading edge there. And if this really does come to fruition, maybe even if it's an hour and a half, think about that what would that be does fantastic. For yeah, it would be great the if they, they get it to go to Vegas. I think. Oh, boy, here we go. go. Wow. <laughs> here we go. All right, a couple